let's talk about this movie, Megalopolis, which is just running on a controversial run right now. And that seems to be the marketing. So what we just saw is that they released a trailer yesterday, which is a newer one. There's already been a trailer out and they released one yesterday that had some apparent quotes that were sort of like not the way they should have been presented. They released a trailer that had some negative reviews of other Coppola's work, including The Godfather, Apocalypse Now, and Bram Stoker's Dracula. So before we get into this controversy and everything else that's been riding on Megalopolis, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell. We are on the road to 35,000 subscribers. We are 3,000 from that goal or 2,000 by now. So very excited to get to that. But let's talk about Megalopolis and just what exactly this marketing is. So yesterday they released a trailer that featured the snippets of Coppola's other films with negative reviews apparently attached to them. So all of this apparently was included with Fishburne's narration that says true genius is often misunderstood. Then saying one filmmaker has always been ahead of his time an event nothing can prepare you for. So people were saying that this was such a great trailer at the beginning. They were saying that it very much so was a trailer that was just showcasing like look people hated The Godfather when it came out. It's a classic now. People hated Apocalypse Now when it came out. It's a classic now. Dracula, same thing. People hated it when it came out. It got all of this bad run press things, critics, all of that. They got it wrong back then. And we see with the passage of time that Coppola is indeed a genius. But now, according to some people who have been keen on this, it was soon discovered that these blurbs and all of this that were attached to the trailer may have been fabricated and that some of the opinions that were indeed negative were there, but they were some of them fake, which just made Lionsgate take down the trailer same day after it got millions of views already. And they even issued an apology, which just sounds insane. Now, here's my thoughts on this. I think this is all marketing at this end of the day. I think Megalopolis has been sort of like riddled with all of this controversy because a couple of weeks ago, there was a whole controversy with Coppola's behavior on set with some of the females and things like that, which I don't want to get into in this video because I'm going to wait to see everything come out about the film before we talk about things like that. But that controversy as well was even beforehand when he cast Shia LaBeouf in the film as as well of course Shia has a very extensive um, allegations to him and currently dealing with all of that as well so a lot of people just found it kind of odd that he would put somebody like Shia LaBeouf in the film as well and of course we have to take in account that the mixed reaction at can that the film got as well some people calling it astonishing others calling it a mess and some saying that it is definitely all over the place it definitely is a film that is already riding the coattails of i would say infamy by now because a lot of people just aren't sure how they feel about coppola's new film with some saying that it definitely is trying to do too much and not saying much and others saying it is the most visionary work they've seen as well which I have yet to see the film. I will definitely be seeing this film because I'm not really interested in the trailer and all of that. I think it has some very awesome shots to it. There's one thing about the film that I'm interested in seeing it play out in real time that I think you can only see on the big screen. The thing is that there is a scene in which you have Adam Driver's character talking to somebody in the audience. Like That's what I've heard at these festivals is that when the screen is playing the film that Adam Driver's taking questions from reporters or whatever, his character in the movie, right? And one of the scenes involves him looking into the audience, like us, directly to the camera at somebody who's going to come in and ask Adam Driver these specific questions that Adam Driver then answers through the movie. And I thought that that was just interesting. So maybe I'm just going to see it for that novelty. And that's totally totally fine with me. I really don't uh, care, but I definitely want to know what is this film and all of the things that are surrounding it. Apparently Coppola has been working on it for decades, going back and forth on the script, trying to get it made. And now he self-financed it and he wants to see this thing flourish. And I think it's a big gamble, a big swing. And I know a lot of people are wondering, 
will this be the big thing that really cements Coppola as one of the most visionary filmmakers of all time, which I think Coppola definitely has the hits, but in the past 30 years or so, I just haven't had a film that I've connected from Coppola where I think that this is it ever since Bram Stoker's Dracula. So I don't know, will this be that film? Will this be the one that really brings us back to that era of Coppola when everybody was just like, this man is ahead of the curve. This man is a straight up living genius. We'll see, we'll see, I don't know. So let's talk about what this movie exactly is as well because I feel like we haven't even got into that part of it. So an accident destroys a decaying metropolis called New Rome. Caesar Cantalina, who is of course played by Adam Driver, is an idealist architect with the power to control time as you've seen already in the trailer aims to rebuild this city as a sustainable utopia while corrupt mayor Franklin Cicero, who is played by Giancarlo Esposito, remains committed to a regressive status quo. Torn between them is Franklin's socialite daughter and Caesar's love interest, Julia, who is played by Natalie Emanuel, who, tired of the social influence she inherited, searches for her life's meaning as well. You have Aubrey Plaza as Woman Platinum, a TV presenter specializing in financial news who loves Caesar. Shia LaBeouf plays Claudio Pulker, who is Caesar's cousin who lusts for Julia. And you also have John Voigt in this as Hamilton Carses III, Caesar's wealthy uncle and the head of Crassus National Bank. A ton of other people in this, and I'll get that in my breakdown of the film that I'll come out probably next two weeks so stay tuned for that but this is definitely sounding like a movie that is just going to either be the biggest surprise or the biggest flop of the year i think i don't think it's one or the other and i'm open to hear your thoughts on it are you excited for megalopolis what did you think about the trailer what do you think about the marketing so far is this a movie you're excited to watch or are you just like i don't really care no more you know I'm curious. I'm curious for everybody's thoughts on it. But like I said, we'll be covering it more extensively as it gets closer to release. So stay tuned for that. And as always, hit that subscribe button, notification bell. 35,000 subscribers is the goal. And follow us on our Instagram at It's Culture Elixir as well as our website, www.culturelixir.com. As always, stay safe, stay positive. Now, destroy the forever. Ladies and gentlemen and children of all ages.